Hey up, yeah. <laughs> I made a, uh, I messed up when I tried to uh, calibrate the filter on the Behringer Monopoly. I'd seen a video online that if you lift the uh, panel up at the back, there's a few tiny screws. You need a fine screwdriver and you can twist it. I don't know which way it is as well since I did it. So I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. <laughs> so I did it. Oh, here's a picture of what it looks like. Right. So I did it. Turned the screw a few times. About three turns, I think. I don't know which way it goes. Anyway, so that's and I tried it. Oh, that sounds uh, different. I'll do it a bit more. Uh, so I did it again, and when I played, when I went back to play it, it would add a tune. I thought, what have I done here? So I had a look at the uh, screws again, and I think I tuned. I think I turned the uh, calibration for the tuning on uh, oscillator 1 VCO1 so I thought oh no problem I'll just tune it up to oscillator 2 so I did that got it in tune played a few notes but if you as soon as you wandered away from that note it were out of tune. So I did it again, tuned it to a, to the higher note to see if that made a difference. Now moved away from that note so I thought I'll try guitar tuner to see if that did it. I, th I, did, I didn't have any faith in guitar tuner making any difference but I did it anyway. Tuned it up, no, no. So I thought I'll have a look online see if there's anybody can tell me what I've done. Now I've tried to tried the Beringer site, Beringer site, no enjoy I couldn't find anything on there, so I thought I'd, I messed about for a bit longer and just get up and thought I'll just use I'll I'm not sending it back because it's my fault what I've done. And anyway, I didn't want the hassle anyway, so I thought I'll just t turn oscillator one down and just use the two, three and four oscillators. <laughs> and just do it that way and only have a three oscillator synth instead of four then I did that for oof, I bet I probably nearly a year I bet and then a couple of months back I thought I'm gonna have another go at this so I went online again I contacted somebody on I want a Facebook it's a Behringer uh, forum on uh, Facebook and I asked them on there and this guy came back we a link to the Behringer site showing how to uh, tune it and it apparently it's got a self uh, self tuning function and I thought can't be that easy can it <laughs> can't be that easy so I did it and well, hey <laughs> it's all back in tune together again so I'm back to four oscillators now again <laughs> so uh, is it worth, shall I show you how to do it? Just hang on a minute and I'll just just show you what it does. Right, so to uh, do the automatic recalibration of the tuning, power it off and when you turn it back on, hold the effects button down and you'll see the VCO lights go through a sequence. Right, so to calibrate the tuning, turn it off and when you turn it on hold the effects button down and you'll see the LEDs uh, go through the sequence and that's it Right, that's it. I hope this uh, video has been informative and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.